Tips to Improve Executive Functioning, presented by the University of North Georgia's Student Counseling Center. Executive functioning skills like planning, organizing, and staying on track with classwork and assignments are essential to success in college. Executive functions help us to consider, plan, organize, and finish tasks, and solve problems. People with strong executive functioning skills are less likely to deliberately put off task completion, otherwise known as procrastinating. Let's talk about some tips to manage procrastination and improve overall executive functioning. Tip 1. Plan out your time. You have 168 hours in your week. You must divide that time between taking care of your body, mind, and relationships, and your responsibilities as a student, such as going to class and doing your schoolwork. You may additionally have responsibilities such as working to support yourself and or your family. Start by blocking off your schedule with the activities you must do at a certain time, such as travel time and time spent in class and or at work. You can then add in your meals, wake up, and bedtime routines. Set your schedule by setting aside time for activities. Schedule time for studying and schoolwork. There is a formula to give you an idea of how much time you need for a class. For each hour you're in class per week, plan to spend two hours outside of class doing work for that class. For more information on planning your time, see our video, Balanced Schedule. Tip 2. Break tasks into small pieces. Many people get overwhelmed when thinking about the amount of work that goes into a big project. They may put off starting the task because it seems too difficult. Most tasks can be broken down into smaller pieces, which makes them feel manageable. If you can start working on one small piece of a task, you can make progress, and then you may feel relieved and more motivated to continue. One method is called the Pomodoro Technique. This entails working on a certain task for a short period, such as 25 minutes, and committing to avoiding distractions during that time. Then you would take a short 5-minute break, before working uninterrupted for another 25 minutes. Four work periods are usually encouraged before taking a longer break. Tip 3. Prioritize tasks. Make a list of tasks that need to get done. It may help to group them by importance and urgency. Tasks that are both urgent and important would be prioritized first, followed by those that are important, but not urgent. Third priority tasks would be those that are urgent, but not important, and the least prioritized tasks would be those that are neither urgent nor important. Look at this list daily, and ask yourself what needs to get done that day. Be realistic about what can be accomplished given your allotted time and capabilities. Keep in mind that you may need to break the tasks down into smaller pieces. Some students have difficulty choosing what is most important, or deciding how to break down tasks. If you have a hard time with either, consider asking a friend to give you a second opinion. Tip 4. Plan for your energy and focus. Pay attention to the time of the day in which you have the best energy and focus. These vary based on individuals' biological clocks or circadian rhythms. Some people are morning people, while others are night owls. Try to figure out when you have the most energy and ability to remain focused, and try to schedule what you deem to be your most difficult tasks during those times. Tip 5. Choose your study space. What environment do you study or work best in? Some people need silence and no distractions. Others need to be around other people studying to feel motivated and to remind them to stay on task. Sometimes people need to stand or be able to move around. You may have general preferences, but keep in mind that your preferences can also differ based on the class subject or type of task you're working on. Figure out what works best for you and plan accordingly. Tip 6. Review and study on a regular basis. 
try to review the material shortly after class ends so that it's fresh in your mind. Break your studying down into smaller blocks of time, as this helps this information get stored into your long-term memory. Tip 7. Monitor what works. What coping skills helped you cope with feeling overwhelmed or with getting distracted? If taking a few deep breaths or if avoiding social media briefly helped, take note. How long did it take for you to complete certain types of assignments? Use that information to help you plan your schedule going forward. Are you a person that prefers to start with an easy or quick task to build motivation? Or do you prefer to start with a difficult task to ensure that you have enough energy and focus for it? Tip 8. Plan to manage distractions and other barriers. Not only do we need to know what works for us, but we also need to know what gets in our way. If phone notifications, conversations with family or friends, or even hunger make it harder for you to stay focused, plan proactively to manage those barriers. You may need to set limits with others, or ask for their support, such as asking them to not text or talk to you at certain times. Tip 9. Try not to overcommit yourself. Some people struggle with saying no to others, as they don't want to let him down. Others say yes often because they don't want to miss out on things. Monitor how much you're choosing to do for yourself and for others. Feel free to say yes, but if you are getting overwhelmed, ask for help or see if you can postpone some tasks. You may no longer have time to meet up with a friend, but can reschedule it to another day. You could also rearrange your study schedule by moving your block of time to another day that week. See our video, Time Management for College Students, for more information. Tip 10. Balance work with self-care. Many of these tips focus on getting tasks done, but it's important to schedule time for taking care of your body, mind, and relationships as well. You are more than a student. Taking care of all aspects of yourself can improve your overall well-being and manage stress, which can help you to be more successful in applying these strategies. If you would like more information or support, please check out other videos on our channel, look for resources on our website, or call us to make an appointment at 706-867-4402. Thank you.